sound. What is it? Gonna stop. Oh, 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 up there, somewhere. Why, little woman?
God, my leg! It's... Someone there! Always fight! 
Proctor Ingram? Glad to see you're still in one piece. I wouldn't have made it without your help. That's funny. I seem to remember having to talk you into letting me come along. Anyway, we shouldn't stand around here talking. We've got a lot of work to do. Excuse me, Proctor Ingram. Well, this is it. Moment of truth. We pre-programmed Liberty Prime's battle coordinates into his navigational processor. As soon as he's under his own power, he'll head straight for the Institute. Elder Maxon wants you to follow, and make sure he arrives at the CIT in one piece. I've checked every wire and every bolt on the big guy. All we need to do is plug in the agitator, start Prime's reactor, and cross our fingers. Did you fill up his tank and check the tire pressure, too? You're a real comedian. Anyone ever tell you that? Look, I discussed it with Elder Maxon, and we think you should be the one who has the honor of starting Liberty Prime. Just plug the beryllium agitator into his reactor port, then head back down here and press the transfer button. Good luck, Paladin. Ad Victorium. Excuse me, Dr. Lee? I have some important work to do, if you'll excuse me. System analysis. All systems nominal. Weapons hot. Mission the destruction of any and all Chinese communists. Probability of Chinese victory impossible. Brotherhood, salute. Have Victoria proceeding to target coordinates. Freedom is the sovereign right of every American. Democracy is non-negotiable. like some good news? That's great, because I've got some, for once. So that, that, uh, Billy... Liberty, end of 
travel to target. Probability of mission entrance, 32%. Revised stratagem initiated. Aquatic transit protocol activated. Probability of mission entrance, 0%. Democracy is truth. Communism is death. Anchorage will be liberated.
Let freedom ring. Away from Prime, soldier! Scanning defenses!
three, nine, five. Destroy all communists. Excuse me, Elder Maxon. Good work, Paladin. Now, head inside and let's finish this. Glad we're making a difference out here. Don't worry, we'll get this machinery under control. The human-looking scents are the worst. They hide in plain sight. The mission is proceeding as planned, Paladin. Well done. Our next target is the reactor. If anything tries to slow us down, I'm ordering you to destroy it. Man or machine. Once we reach our target, you'll need this. It's a fusion pulse charge. Attach it to the reactor, and it can be detonated remotely from a safe distance. It will be more than enough to annihilate the Institute in its entirety. Ingram, you're to remain here and teleport us out when the job is done. Get that thing working. Elder Maxon. Let's get this done, Paladin. Termination is inevitable. Victory for the Brotherhood. This is what I had feared. No controls, no supervision. Technology run amok. Engaging. <laughs> 
destruction is inevitable. <laughs> Attacking hostile. What was that? Someone help! located the reactor. It's accessible through the Advanced Systems Division. Only, you can't reach it. The security override can only come from the Director's Terminal. You'll need to access his quarters.
I didn't expect to see you again. Come to see the reactor, have you? We got it working without you. What's happened to you? Are you sick? Oh, don't pretend to care now. You had your chance to help me, and cast me aside instead. It's not enough that I lay here dying. Now you plan on what? Destroying everything? Tell me then. Under what righteous pretense have you justified this atrocity? I just want to watch this place burn. It's hard to believe I'm related to you. Well, none of it matters now, I suppose. You'll accomplish your task and ruin humanity's best hope for the future. The only question left then is why you're standing here. Is it regret? Or did you just come to gloat? I wanted to see you one last time, before your whole empire comes crashing down around you. Get out of here. Got it. Well done, Paladin. Looks like a path should be clear to the reactor. And I am happy to report that reinforcements have arrived. At Victorium, Paladin.
I think it's time to leave this place to its fate. Proctor Ingram, do you copy? Our mission is complete. I need you to transport We're us out of here immediately. Back to hell. Our work here is done. Proctor Ingram, it's time to teleport us out. Sorry, Elder, I would, but... Well, this child showed up. He claims to be the Paladin's son, sir. Please, Dad! Don't leave me here! I want to go with you! You're not going anywhere with me. You're not my son. But you can't just leave me here! I don't want to die! Please, just think about it for a second. You're not, Sean! You're not, Sean! You're a robot. Made to think you're real. You're just gonna leave me here? I can't believe it! I hate you! All right, Ingram. Fire it up. Hang on. You're telling me you leave that kid here to die? He's your son! He's a synth, Ingram. He's not really my son. Are you kidding me? The Institute made synths that look like children? I don't even know what to say. Except that they deserve what's coming to them. You're clear to go then. Ready? Absolutely. Let's get out of here. You got it, Paladin. I'm sending you to the detonation site. I'll set the relay to send the last of us to the Pridwin and make sure everyone is out. When that reactor goes up, this place will be nothing but a smoking crater full of rubble. Should be quite a sight. Looks like your work here is done, Paladin. Dr. Ingram is assured that they will be outside the... Last Raiders. Press that button. And you not only defeat our enemy, you restore order and decency to the Commonwealth. It's time, Paladin. The Institute and their synth abominations must be eradicated. over me. The heat, the force, the radiation, the fear. It's the end of the world all over again. I close my eyes. I see my life before all of this, before the bombs. Everything can change in an instant, and the future you plan for yourself shifts whether or not you're ready. At some point, it happens to all of us. This wasn't the world I wanted, but 
It was the one I found myself in. The Commonwealth. My home. Ripped apart and put back together. I thought, I hoped, I could find my family, cheat time, make us whole again. The way we were. But now I know. I know I can't go back. I know the world has changed. That the road ahead will be hard. This time, I'm ready. Because I know war. War never changes. Elder Maxon? You've done an exemplary job here, Paladin. Without your unwavering loyalty to our cause, this victory would never have been possible. So we've won? Absolutely, brother. The Institute has been wiped clean from the face of our world. It's time we close this chapter on the Commonwealth. And begin one anew. Then let's get to it. I'm pleased that you're anxious to continue your service for the Brotherhood. But this is neither the time nor the place to discuss it. Return to the Pridwin, and we'll decide what needs to be done. Elder. Paladin, I'm pleased you've returned. Captain Kells and I wanted to speak with you. Captain Kells. As I expect Elder Maxon has already explained, the destruction of the Institute is simply the first stage of our operations in the Commonwealth. There are still super mutants and ferals to be dealt with, as well as any remaining synths that escaped the blast. It's our hope that you will continue serving with the Brotherhood and assist us with eradicating these threats. Of course, Captain. Very good, Paladin. In light of your service, Captain Kells and I both feel you deserve unique recognition for your contributions, both past and future. It's with great pleasure and the utmost respect that you are hereby granted the title of Sentinel. This is the highest honor a Brotherhood soldier can achieve, but we both felt strongly that it was well deserved. In addition, we'd like to present you with this jetpack modification for your power armor. The Brotherhood has few of these devices in its possession, but we feel you've earned the right to utilize one of them. Congratulations, Sentinel. It's an honor to be serving with you. Thank you, both. I'm really quite honored. The honor is ours. So, Sentinel, for the first time since we've met, I have no orders for you. From this moment forward, you will decide which missions you undertake and how you will guide us. Captain Kells and the personnel at the Cambridge Police Station still possess numerous operations for you to undertake. Where you go from here is up to you. Ad Victorium, Sentinel.
Yes? Glad you're here. We got a new case while you and Nick were out. Ready to put on the detective hat? Institute's gone. Do you know what this means? Cambridge has one hell of a new pothole? <laughs> I suppose it does, but oh, more than that, it means no more kidnappings. No more sleepless nights terrified your neighbors plotting against you. No more fear, thanks to you. We don't have to be afraid anymore. You know, except of death claws and mutants, ferals, ambitious mole rats. Okay, maybe a couple of things to be afraid of, but uh, you took care of the big one. Welcome to day one of the new Commonwealth. Piper. Heading my way? You sure you want to travel with me? I can't imagine anything I'd want more. You know what? Never mind. You know where to find me. Sullivan, just to make God wait a little longer. You gotta listen. Mayor McDonough, I saw him with one of those Institute synths. Piper was right. He's one of them. McDonough's a synth. Danny. Oh, God. Two slugs in the gut, now? plus the fall from the elevator. I ain't gonna make it. Quick, take this stim pack. Thank you. I feel better. If you don't mind, I'm uh, I'm just gonna stay here for a bit. Thank you. 
Piper. Congratulations, you've won. I hope you break your foot trying to kick that door down. Ugh, damn it, it won't budge. Damn it, McDonough's locked the door. That's far enough. Help me! He's crazy! I am not just going to be discarded and tossed to the wolves. I'm the mayor, goddammit! Hell, I'd vote for him again. Cracking jokes? I'll kill her! I swear I will. Now, I'll tell you what's going to happen next. I'm walking out of this city, unharmed, with my dignity intact. You're not getting off the hook that easy, McDonough. You have to answer for what you've done. I'm either walking out of the city a free man, or I'm killing as many of you disgusting, filthy savages as I can. You're going to stand trial. And these people are going to have justice. Lord knows you've got plenty to answer for. Trial? Please. You know how these people feel about synths. I won't be stuck in a prison while they gloat. This is my city! Mine! Oh. He's dead. I can't say McDonough didn't deserve worse, but... Without a mayor, the city council will be next in line to pick up the pieces. Let's hope they do a better job. I don't know when people are gonna be ready for another mayoral election. Not gonna be soon, that's for sure. But at least now, Diamond City will finally have the truth. Hey, Piper. I got a lot to clean up here, Blue. Hit me up again later. Geneva. Oh my god. He almost killed me. You... You saved my life. I... Think I'm gonna faint. Oh my god. He almost killed me. Thank you.